Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Yilkes Zumun Chibitrus, your regular animal scientist. Today, we shall discuss measures, rules to to vaccinate your poultry birds. What are some of the things you need to put in order? I have seen people uh, who call and say, I have failure of this vaccine in my farm. And they keep asking, why could this be? Some of you, after post-mortem, you find out that those vaccines you have administered to your bed, to your farm, are likely the ones that the vet tells you that the beds are with such diseases. And you wonder, let's take an example. You have administered foul typhoid vaccine. And at the cost of postmortem, they say, Madam, sorry. Oh, sorry, sir. Your beds are with salmonellosis. That's the same typhoid. And you are wondering what has happened. So today, I'm going to teach you some things, some guidelines, some rules. You need to observe before you give vaccine in your farm. Why? To avoid vaccine failure. Rule number one. Listen, before I go into this detail, make sure you sit down and listen to this video to the end. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make it a household name. Share the video content. Subscribe, turn up the notification bell so that anytime I release valuable videos like this, you will be notified by the YouTube. Thank you very much. First and foremost, don't vaccinate sick birds. Once your flock is sick, don't administer any kind of vaccine. I repeat, anytime you notice your flock is sick, that is your bed, please don't administer any vaccine. Suspend it until treatment. Secondly, once you pick any mortality within a period, within the week, don't administer any vaccine suspend vaccination please i hope you are getting this i repeat i said once you administer i mean you notice your beds are not feeding well are not fine don't give vaccination secondarily once you notice any mortality any death one within the week that you plan to give vaccine, make sure you suspend your vaccination. Secondarily, seek only the counsel of vet, your animal scientists, your professionals. Don't go into self-medication, vaccination. Seek their, their consent and counsel. Let them counsel you so that you will go with the right vaccine. These are measures you need to take, please. Another factor that I want you to understand is make sure you patronize certified vaccine vendors. What do I mean by that? Where you are buying vaccine, make sure it is a recommended place. A place where you are sure that you are getting the right vaccine. Don't patronize quacks, please. Another factor you need to understand is this. Your vaccines need to be kept in a desired cold chain. Every vaccine has its temperature limit. So anytime your vet comes with vaccine, it must be in a flask and inside uh, an ice pack why so that to maintain the temperature chain please anytime you have not you did not notice this i plea with you your vaccine could get denatured don't patronize such vendors don't patronize them these are common cause why vaccine fail after you administer it. I hope you are getting what I'm saying. 
another factor is this before you go into vaccine these are factors or measures you need to observe get helping hands more labor force yes anytime you want to administer vaccine in your in your farm make sure there are more hands to assist you why to avoid stampede two to ease you of stress both you and the vaccinator these are common reasons why sometimes after vaccination you call your vaccinator to come and he keeps giving you excuses why you must have stressed him for the first time he's the one to restrain he's the one to do this and that no i'm telling you believe me the next time you call they will be giving you excuses these are some of the factors i hope you are getting this another factor that you need to understand when you are to give vaccine is make sure you observe biosecurity i have a video on biosecurity please i'm going to leave it at the link below make sure you 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 you, you see you watch it so that you will see what i said concerning uh, biosecurity so that you won't em uh, employ somebody from a disease farm to come and assist you make sure you check biosecurity measures whenever you are going to give vaccine another thing you need to understand is this the recommended dialing for the vaccine make sure is used by the manufacturer what do i mean by that every vaccine has its own diluent diluent means what you need to reconstitute the vaccine with so if the manufacturer design a particular diluent please use it don't change it you are not the manufacturer you don't know the rationale behind that make sure you use the recommended vaccine diluent i mean diluent lastly make sure you use the recommended route for the vaccination what do i mean by that if the manufacturer said this vaccine is used to give i am make sure you stick to it i am means intramuscular if it is subcute make sure you go subcutaneously if it is um uh, IO make sure you go IO if it is ours meaning oral make sure you go with that please adhere strictly to manufacturer's instruction this is safest way for you to have a very good vaccination in your form i hope you find this video very helpful i'm going to discuss why vaccine fail in a farm why vaccine fail easily haven't noted all this you are going to go with me in a journey i'm going to tell you why your vaccine fail easily you find out that haven't given a gomboro vaccine tomorrow you find out that you, your bed come down with the gomboro again that's gomboro failure and you're wondering after administering a uh, let's say lasota vaccine or ndk vaccine and your bed come down with newcastle and you're wondering oh after administering marex vaccine they come down with two more and you're wondering i'm going to discuss in detail why you have vaccine failure on your farm thank you very much i hope you find this video very helpful see you next in my next video thank you